Hi, this is Shane with Atlas CFO, and today we're going to work on our scorecard, and we're going to cover how to add a chart to the scorecard. Um, we've had a lot of positive response on this thing, and we had some people ask, well, how do I add weekly data? So I, my, uh, I'm going to cover that now. They want to know if we go in here and want to add a, a graph to track uh, hours per week on the payroll. How would we do that? So what I did was I went in here to the input sheet, the graphs are the end result, and the input is what drives the graph. So we just went over here, and all the way at the bottom, I just added a column or a series of rows for hours, and I just made the title week ending, payroll data week ending, and then I just put my start date in here, and you can make it whatever you want. If you're uh, starting on the 1st of August, let's say, and then this formula just adds a week to it. So this will be our new, our new, uh, horizontal axis and then this will be the uh, hours or the, the data we're going to track so let's go back and let's just do this and so let's say we've got our payroll data and at the end of each week we've keyed in our hours our overtime and our regular for field and for service and so now we want to add a chart so we can see the trend on this and start reporting on it so what i want to do is as you'll recognize this is the uh, graph page I'm just going to go over here to the bottom and let's just left click right here and there's a couple ways you can do this and um, you can do insert a chart which is probably the easiest which the way to do that is if I can find it come over here that's where we're going to place it so we're just going to do let's just pick a 2d stack chart so it's going to put our, sorry, not stack chart. So we're going to put it there. So we just going to left click, hold our mouse on it and drag it. And what we're doing is just resizing it uh, just to start out. And so now up here, uh, we've got this new menu option. And so we want to do is select data because right now we have an empty box. So click on select data. And now <clears throat> this comes up, excuse me, and you can see it's empty. So over here, left click on this up arrow, and we go to select, we're going to select our data source. So now let's go back here and let's click this input tab. And this is where we want to end up. It's all the way at the bottom of, of the uh, my worksheet. Yours might be in a different spot, so just scroll to it. And then left click and hold your left mouse down and just drag while holding your left mouse. We're going to go all the way out to here. That way we have a good 50 I don't know what that is. 54 weeks of data. It's going to be a crowded chart. So now we go in here now that we've selected what we want. So we've got our, our dates. We've got the, uh, the uh, data we want to report on. So click on this. This comes back and you can see right now it has defaulted to all of our weeks and all of our whoops entries, all of our series of data points. So say OK and we come back here hey there's our chart all right so let's kind of clean it up a little bit because it uh, doesn't really tell you a big story so first thing we want to do let's change the title the chart title let's actually give it something useful so go up here now that you've left clicked and selected that click in this formula bar right next to the uh, f sub x and just hit equal and now that tells excel that we want to reference something a formula we're doing a formula we want to reference a cell somewhere else so now what we did is we're in the input sheet and let's just make the title weekly payroll data week ending you know it's descriptive enough so it's centered it it's right here we have all of our weeks um we have a lot of data <laughs> really hard to read so let's clean it up some more so other we're not using this so let's take this off another thing is i pointed out it selected all 52 weeks so uh, let's say we don't need 52 weeks let's just go through the first I don't know, six weeks or two months see what it does now we've gone through and I click I check the select all and that un by clicking it because it had a check mark in it that unselected that allows me to just roll down with my mouse and just select the boxes I want so I'm going to do 910, I could do you know, 910 to 917. You can so you can update it any 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 values you want. You could do every other one, you could do you know every fifth one, whatever, whatever floats your boat. 
So click apply and we come back over here and now we have some more data. So let's continue working on this. Let's add some legends because I don't really know what that means. It's just <laughs> really skinny lines. So let's do a legend. Hey, there we go. So we have the legend right there. So we have field hours, field overtime, field service. Um, you know, still not that great. I'm going to put it at the bottom. So if you mouse over this and go over here and left click on this arrow, this little triangle arrow, this is its position legend at the right. So I want to put it on the bottom. There we go. It frees up a little more space. So now it's getting a little, a little easier to read. So what we've got here is we've got the weeks, 7, 9, 7, 16, 7, 23, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, I wonder how's it going to print. Nah, I might be getting ahead of myself. It's still a little, a little hard to read. So just left click on it and come over here. When your cursor changes, when you get to that little circle, left click and hold down and let's drag it. And so... Uh, what we got here? Well, we've still got bars, and they're kind of tall, and yeah, I don't know, they're kind of ugly. So let's uh, let's move that out of my way, and let's go over here. Let's just change left click, right click again, and let's do change chart type. Let's see what this does. Let's try. It's a column right now, so let's try a line. See if that looks better. That might be more useful. What's this one? Stacked. I don't know what the difference is. Ooh, stacks. Line with markers. No, I don't care about markers. Let's go back to this. It's clean. It's easy. Boom. There we go. Hey, look at that. Okay, now that tells you something. So we can go down here. We've got field hours in blue. We've got service hours in green. And we've got overtime down here in orange for the field and purple for service. All right, so that's not bad. We can go in here and look at hours like this. Now, if you wanted to go in and add something else you can always play around with the chart you could go in if we had a uh oh a budget you could go in and change the chart type and uh go over change chart type by right clicking go down to a oh you could do a combo and we could make uh you know what do we got here combo we could make a clustered column and we could make one a line um i don't think we want to mess with that because this is not bad right now as it is, and if you get to making it too crazy, it's kind of hard to follow. So right now, this just tells you, you know, hours are pretty steady, overtime's pretty low, uh, at least that's what I read from it. It's not bad, so let's go in, let's make sure it's working. So let's do something crazy, and let's do 100 hours of overtime, and let's just make sure the points work. So let's go over here, and I'm going to make something crazy again, zero. Let's go back to the graph. Hey, there we go. Okay, now this is probably more realistic. Up and down one week, or uh, maybe pretty consistent, depending on the department. So there you go. We have, uh, what did we do? We have added back here at the start, at the input sheet. We went all the way to the bottom. We added a section for weekly reporting. And I put payroll because that's the most common request we have, is how do I report payroll data, uh, hours, Per week. I mean, you could do payroll dollars. You could make it whatever you want, which another thing to hang on. And so we've set this up on the input sheet and then we added a graph. And so you can add this, you can do this graph, this same setup or these steps for anything. If you want to go back here and add something else um, for small tools or another budget item, just follow the same steps. Just go down here, add your, you know, title, I like to format everything the same so that someone who's filling in for me, let's say, if they know that data goes in the blue cells, then that's pretty easy to pretty easy to follow. Um, the other thing I want to point out, so we gave this a title. So let's just do, since we reference that cell, let's change this title per week. Let's see what happens. Scroll up. Hey, look at that. Payroll hours per week. And the reason I'd like to do this is because let's say and you say oh, that's great, Shane. You've got payroll hours, but I don't care about that. I want to report uh, billings per week because the uh, service needs to bill every week and we need to stay on top of it. So you could do uh, service billings per week. You know, change it to whatever you want. Let's just do uh, 
Um, I'm, 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 I'm making this up. Let's just do uh, service calls. Let's do uh, PM maintenance agreements. And let's just do, uh, I don't know, parts sales. And let's say we don't have those three, but you've got three extra options right there. So let's just say we build uh, 25,000 and we build a thousand here and we build a uh, I don't know. Somebody came in and bought a part for something. If you have retail sales. So let's just do this. I don't know. Maybe we sold a bunch of PTAC units to a friend that owns a hotel. I don't know. So let's go in here. Let's just do 50, 1, 2, 3. And let's do a 5, 1, 2, 3. Hey, let's go. That's going to be ugly. I'm going to take that out. So let's go back here. So what we did is now we have changed this section to service billings we're still using by week and we have changed our series that we're charting so we'll go back to the graph and hey look at this service billings per week and we have the weeks and we have dollars whoa that's pretty cool it worked hey hey now let's go back down let's see if it works let's just do 15 because uh, i don't know Everybody took that week off. And PM agreements, let's just say it's really getting busy and we're getting caught up and we build a bunch of PM agreements. Boom, look at that. So now you can make it service billing. So I'm, I'm going to leave it at that, but you can see that by setting up in your input sheet a uh, section for data referencing a title and whatever your, uh, your uh, horizontal axis, your time value is, and then leaving some room for multiple data points or series to track you can uh, put one graph on here and if you decide you're no longer going to track x you can change it to y like we just did and there you go so now you have a new chart um, you have uh, added a weekly series and it's all good to go again i hope this was helpful i hope this answered your questions everyone that uh, asked for weekly charts and if you're not part of the group that's already using this, I would encourage you to uh, try it. You can just go to our website at atlascfo.com and start up here. Scroll down to, let's see right now, it's, right now it's in the middle. Click on free financial scorecard template that will send you a box, take you to a box to put your email in. And you will not only get the link to download this uh, scorecard, but you will get the uh, free videos on training and editing and i think we've got some other stuff like uh, tips and best practices and things we see a lot of people like to track so a lot of useful data uh, we're here to help so go get your scorecard and um, good luck we'll talk to you soon